because I want you guys to be experts on gut health, there are a few conditions that I want you to be aware of. If you've been around the natural health and wellness world for very long, you've probably heard of a term called leaky gut syndrome. Uh, people often think of the small intestine as a seamless hose, but in reality, it's these cells. They're, they kind of create the wall and those things are called tight junctions. Well, these create a barrier between your body and the outside world. And when that is separated, that's what we call leaky gut. So through those separation of those tight junctions, uh, food, food particles or bacteria can kind of leak through and get into your bloodstream. Well, this creates a problem. And it's because your immune system is trained to look for things that aren't supposed to be there. So if you've got these food particles or these bacteria that are leaking through your gut, your immune system's gonna watch for them. And this will put your immune system in a constant state of chronic inflammation. And that's, that inflammation um, can leave you feeling pretty lousy. Another gut condition that you should be aware of is IBS. So IBS is irritable bowel syndrome. Um, right along with it is ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, a lot of these other gut issues. And the truth is most of these are caused by something called SIBO. So SIBO stands for small intestinal bowel overgrowth. And this um, is a condition where your own lactobacillus overgrows into your small intestine. It's actually supposed to stay in your large intestine. And this overgrowth can, can really create quite a few, shall I say, unpleasant trees, um, gas, bloating, cramping, um, tremendous ab abdominal pain. So one thing that I do recommend is watch for, look at a probiotic that you might be taking and make sure it doesn't have lactobacillus or bifidobacterium. Those are two strains that are very, very common. In fact, I would say they're in most probiotics that I look at, they'll have those two. And those are ones that I would recommend avoiding if you have any sort of gut issues because studies show that those two strains can actually worsen the symptoms of SIBO and IBS. Um, so while we aren't completely aware of what exactly causes these type of gut issues, we do know that there's certain things that can help. Managing everyday things like your stress, limiting alcohol, getting enough sleep. Um, in the next video, I'll talk about specific things that you can do to heal the gut, but those are at least gut conditions that you should be aware of.